Hi, my name is Daniela. I teach, I write, I advise on design. Design is my passion. Design is everywhere. Design improves our lives, defines our taste, and determines our surroundings. It can even broadcast who we are and who we aspire to be. Here are my latest thoughts on design. The difference between copying and revisiting is immense. And in the design world, the line between the two is clearly defined. When designers are inspired, they rethink, they repossess an object or a style, creating new destinies. One of the key figures who inspire a new generation of designers is George Nakashima. Nakashima was a trained architect who called himself a woodworker. For nearly five decades, he lived in New Hall, Pennsylvania, creating furniture out of magnificent planks of wood. He established himself as one of the fathers of the American studio movement. Nakashima formulated a distinctive language of design informed by his love for the natural properties of the tree. Rather than discarding the edges, the cracks, and even signs of termites, traits that traditionally were considered imperfect, Nakashima preserved and highlighted them. His most important contribution to the history of modern design is what became known as free edge furniture. It wasn't until after he died in 1991 that Nakashima's furniture became ultra collectible. It took another decade for his free edge language to become popular and synonymous with sophisticated taste and sustainability. There is a lot of copying in the marketplace, but there are also designers who are revisiting and reinventing Nakashima's legacy. They move beyond simple quotations with fresh and original designs. Robert Gonzalez acknowledges his debt to Nakashima with a tribute series he calls George. Gonzalez demonstrates a new take on Nakashima's aesthetic with the use of white Korean tops instead of wood, shaped as free forms. The wooden legs and butterflies trademarks of Nakashima's complete Gonzalez's reference. George Hushment has taken free form into new horizons. By introducing manufactured materials such as cast aluminum and glass panels, he preserves and reconfigures lines of uninterrupted nature. Jason Rusky makes provocative furniture that echoes collages crafted out of patchwork of various woods. The free edge is achieved by piecing together small slabs of wood in different colors textures and qualities. Like Nakashima, Rusky uses the wood with its deteriorated parts intact, finding beauty in all phases of growth and decay. At Circa Trover Design, the introduction of gilt acrylic to the natural free edge wood creates a marriage of the organic and the fantastic. The result is a new vocabulary that is surprising and unorthodox. Jeff Johnson crafts furniture that looks like sculpture. The free edge of the wood expresses nature in forms that seem to defy gravity. George Nakashima created super sophisticated furniture informed by his love for the wood. His language was born from the notion that the wood should speak for itself, not to cover, not to paint, not to cut away. Nakashima's legacy, his genius, was to respect nature enough to give it a starring role and design. <laughs>